The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Well, that weekend was an absolute... Game changer. Yun lang masasabi ko. Game changer siya. Okay? But, uh, it's not really over yet. Kasi January pa lang. At sa Mayo pa ang, ano, ang, ang halalan. So, I'm thinking, we're in for a long ride. Very, a very long ride. And, uh, yeah. The fate of our country is in our hands. And the people who wanted to get that position they're basically doing everything just to get to that position so um, for the next few months eh, magkakaroon na ng gantong mga klaseng ano, gantong klaseng mga um, komentaryo or whatever because first of all I'm a Filipino and uh, basically uh I'll be going on the polls. So, as of the moment, I'm undecided. But, what GMA did uh, a few days ago was basically the, uh, a good development, a, a decisive development uh, of broadcast media in the Philippines. And uh, I would explain it in full detail in this video so with that said let's go oh by the way kapitayo hmm. leche natuluan pa ako oh goodness gracious me ah uh, buti buti hindi to <laughs> buti hindi to na ano sakop sa video <laughs> Oh my goodness. Post-prodian, please. Wag, nyo, wag mo nang ilagay ito sa bloopers. I'm screwed. Anyway, kape tayo. Let's get into the show. Ladies and gentlemen, from its studio south of Manila, IJR Productions presents The Intrepid Show. Hi everyone, I'm Ian Rinyon and welcome to another episode of The Intrepid Show. Now, this is a very, um, very uh, short review of the Jessica Soho presidential interviews uh, that happened uh, on the 24 kasi ngayon, 24 ng, uh, January 24 ngayon, it's a Monday. So, when it was Saturday, Saturday was the 22nd of uh, January. So, uh, that uh, program happened on the 22nd of January 2022 and a lot of people watched it or at the very least uh, were informed that, uh, that such a program uh, such a special program existed in GMA so first of all uh, right off the bat uh, the elephant in the room is this it was a missed opportunity for Ferdinand Marcos Jr. whatever your uh, whatever your uh, stances are, I don't freaking care. I don't freaking care at all. The fact that he wasn't there, na umabsent siya dun sa ano na yun, sa, um, sa programang yun, it was a missed opportunity at best. Okay? <laughs> yun lang naman na masasabi ko. It was a missed opportunity. He was given that platform to basically clear out a lot of uh, a lot of Brrr. that was uh, thrown at him and yet he declined so it's his loss yun lang masasabi ko wala na ako sabing iba uh, wala na sabing iba tungkol doon it was his loss sayang the question now is how will he recover from that ano from that absence uh, in the Jessica Soho presidential interview kasi 
una pa lang yun eh. Una pa lang yun sa mga media interviews ng mga presidential balls. This week, eh... Uh, aarangkada na yung ano yung presidential interview ng ABS-CBN uh, with Boya Bunda as the inter- as the interviewer and then uh, Manila Broadcasting Company or MBC through its uh, Metro Manila AM station DZRH uh, would also um, conduct its own uh, presidential interview I think meron na yata ngayong araw na to so uh, after this video eh makinig na ako I am not sure, parang nag na rin ng TV5 uh, slash One News on the presidential interviews but probably uh, susunod na rin sila and uh, CNN as well, susunod na rin ang CNN so uh, I am pretty sure that uh, the journalists that would uh, handle this would uh, A. have to a- ask the tough questions and B have to tell the people that it's their fucking job. Okay? Jessica Soho just did her fucking job, mga kababayan. Okay? So, please, spare her all the bullshit. Okay? Ginawa lang niya yung trabaho niya. And, uh, yun lang ang masasabi ko doon. Now, aside from the five um, major presidential balls, there is a sixth uh, major presidential ball. And, His name is Caliodi de Guzman. For the record, I'm not voting for that guy. But then again, sayang hindi siya na naimbit, imbitahan sa ano presidential interview ng GMA. It was a missed opportunity as well for GMA to uh, to be transparent as well. So uh, kahit pa paano, eh, may ano din, may fault din dito ang uh, ang GMA. But it's not as uh, not as much. Kasi alam naman natin na siguro yung mga katulad ko na may background sa communication, may background sa media studies, may background sa media production, eh talagang ano, talagang it's a snake pit out there. So kahit pa paano eh, um, may ano din, meron din silang mga hinahabol din na deadline. And uh, nag, ano na eh, nag disclaimer na rin ng GMA na they would only be uh, featuring the top 5 of the 10 candidates. Yes, may sampu tayong presidential balls sa darating na halalan. And uh, it's just tragic that hindi nila kinonsider lah- lahat 'yon na mapasama sa ano na 'yon, sa interview niyan. Maybe kung ano, kung magpa-part 2 sila in the next few weeks, in the next few months, they would be absolutely vindicated. That's for sure. But it's probably not gonna happen. So, tignan na lang natin. So, andyan na. Ito, natapos na yung sa GMA. Uh, magsisimula na sa ABS, sa, uh, sa NBC, TV5, CNN. I'm not sure kung meron pang mga ibang stations na, ano, i- stations or networks na mag uh, interview sa mga, ano, sa mga presidential balls. But, uh, it's our duty as citizens to uh, monitor that, ano, that, um, that thing. So, uh, sayang talaga. It's really, you know, tragic na wala doon si, ano, si Calyodi. Even though, uh, even though personally, I'm not, uh, I'm not really uh, into his ideologies. Basically, for the sake of fairness, sayang hindi siya na, ano, napasama sa ganung mga interview because he really is very vocal. Uh, let's give him that. Let's give him that. Na, he's really vocal and probably sisipot talaga siya if naimbitahan siya. So, Really, sayang. But then again, uh, Calyodi, for uh, uh, for his to his credit, uh, he still insisted to answer uh, the questions that were asked on his fellow presidential balls in his own platforms. Uh, meron yata siyang Facebook page, and uh, he basically uh, he basically answered all the questions that Jessica Soho uh, asked on the on the other presidential balls, and probably. He's gonna be, you know, he's gonna answer it spot on and um, he would do it uh, for his, I mean, based on his, ano, based on his ideology, based on his platform, based on his uh, uh, experience. Okay, so yun lang naman ang sa akin. But anyway, sorry sorry about that. Che-check ko na lang din yung, ano, yung uh, runtime na itong, ano, na to, na itong video na to kasi ayoko din, ano, ayoko din mapahaba yung edits ko na <laughs> To the credit of uh, some journalists, uh, yun nga, uh, MBC has invited Calyodi, uh, ABS-CBN uh, journalist and uh, 
journalism professor Christian Esguera would interview Kalyodi in his uh, personal podcast. Uh, I think pangalan ng ano niya, ng pangalan ng podcast niya ay ano, Facts First. Uh, I'll, um, i-check niyo na lang yung ano niya, yung uh, yung podcast ni Sir Christian Esguera. And uh, probably he would be invited to the other net uh, to the uh, interviews of the other networks. So uh, I really hope that um, they they would have invited all of them. Hindi, hindi lang yung top five. Kasi hindi pwede magbalakad reference dito eh. Dapat, dapat pare-pareho silang nag-aano eh. Um, uh, inimpitahan sa interview na yun eh. And uh, probably all of them sisipot sila. I am not sure on the other one. But only time will tell. So as mentioned, uh, the format that um, GMA applied... Uh, was really unprecedented in Philippine broadcast history. Kumbaga, nabigla lang din ako nung pinanood ko yung ano, yung, yung buong ano, yung buong uh, program na yun eh. Talagang nag, nabigla ako kasi akala ko it's very much ano, it's very much the same polls from six years ago but yeah, it's <laughs> it's really, uh, it's really different and good thing it was different and uh The challenge now is that, having said that, the other media agencies or the other media networks should also uh, raise the their own bar and give the public the the, the chance to discern. Naintindihan ko na sibigu siguro ano, medyo may pagka intelehista ako pero I think bigyan din natin ng ano bigyan na din natin ng pagkakataon yung mga ano yung mga tao na hindi masyado nakapag-aral o hindi naman masyadong um, maalam sa mga gantong bagay o hindi masyadong makomentaryo na ah uh, tayo ito mapakinggan din nila yung ano yung sinasabi ng ibang mga presidential boss or yung mga uh, prinsipyo ng mga presidential boss and basically uh, what happened there was very much ano was very much a good thing so uh kumbaga challenge na yun sa ibang mga media networks sana eh alam ko na hindi journalist si Boya Bunda but i really hope that uh, he he have uh, he would have journalists supporting him in this ano in this uh in these interviews that he have he have kasi it's one thing to be an inquisitor it's another to be a journalist kumbaga mahirap i-distinct yan pero uh Siguro sa mga katulad ko, madidistinguish ko eh. But then again, of course, iba ang ano eh, iba ang, ang trabaho ng isang ano eh, mamamahayag eh. Uh, it's basically above and beyond uh, asking questions. It's above and beyond um, reporting. It's above and beyond uh, giving information to the public. So, yun lang naman yung sa akin. And I hope, uh, and I hope, uh, Boya Bunda would do his, uh, his absolute best, uh, to somehow be near that, that journalistic standard. So, let's cut him some slack. Yun lang naman naman sa akin, mga kababayan. But, of course, uh, he also should, uh, do his due, dilig- due gen- diligence. Yun lang naman na sa akin. Anyway, um, given that the ethical Uh, and uh, moral connections and practices that uh, GMA have uh, while it's ano, while it's existing uh, and uh, it's absolutely questionable uh, I, and uh, hindi natin talaga ma ano yun ma, hindi talaga natin may na ano talaga yun they should be credited for this program kasi as I said napakaiba siya they basically knocked it off the park They absolutely nailed it. And uh, credit where credit is due. Okay? So, sabihin na natin talagang cringy ng ano nila. Ng uh, entertainment side nila. But their news and um, their news uh, arm, they're absolutely doing their jobs. Although talagang questionable din talaga yung ano nila. Yung moral and ethical standards nila. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. And besides, <laughs> you wouldn't uh, have the, you wouldn't have the chance to um, be interviewed by someone who just um, who uh, around 20 years ago went to Afghanistan only to experience a landmine 
uh, a landmine explosion up close and personal. That is what Jessica Soho experienced. And uh, para sa akin, it was absolute badass. Yun lang naman. Anyway, pasensya na agad kasi naka ano ako, naka ano ako sa mga note, sa notes ko. Sulat, sulat kamay lang talaga tong mga notes ko. And uh, yeah. Anyway, as I mentioned, uh, MBC uh, has uh, invited uh, the presidentials to their own uh, presidential interview program. And uh, earlier, Vice President Lenny Robredo is saying na uh, because of her very tight schedule, uh, it's unfortunate that she could not attend. Pero, kinlarify niya sa Twitter na um, she's willing to if if it if it's done this week. And uh, basically, uh, DZRH uh, station manager Cesar Chavez uh, said that she's going and she's uh, going to be uh, featured in the show. So, uh, uh, it's a very good thing. Now, uh, of course, the detractors... Uh, are saying na duwag siya and all that bullshit. Pero alam mo, alam niyo mga kababayan, it doesn't have to be that way. Screw all that banter. I mean, let's raise... If these media networks are trying to raise the bar in uh, in scrutinizing our politicians and our, um, and our public servants, so do we. Dahil tayo din ang magluluklok sa mga taong yan. Sa Mayo. So, I really hope that uh, people would also raise their fucking bars. So, yun lang. Anyway, <laughs> uh, nandito na tayo sa final part na itong, ano na to, na itong uh, review video na to. Uh, a lot of people have already made their uh, political or, or sabihin na natin eh, their, um, their perspectives on what uh, these people have said in front of Jessica Soho. But, Right now, I'm calling it. I'm calling, uh, I'm calling it, uh, or I'm uh, doing my predictions as early as now. I have to say, mga kababayan, that this presidential race is going to be a three-way, um, a three-way battle between Lenny Robredo, Panfilo Lacson, and Yodi de Guzman. Initially, it's gonna be, uh, initially, it's Robredo versus Lacson, pero naiintindihan ko na, Meron ding ibubuga din si Calyodi, so let's put him also in that ano, in that um, in that mix. It's a three-way clash between uh, Madam Robredo's uh, reputation, Mr. Lacson's experience, and Mr. De, Guz- De Guzman's expertise. So I have to say that all major presidentials who attended the GMA interview, uh, plus Calyodi, who technically wasn't there, but he. Uh, he still insisted answering the question, so let's put him in as well, uh, are eligible uh, for at least a cabinet position or executive appointment. So, all of those who attended, masasabi natin na, yeah, sure, they can, uh, they can basically uh, hold their own, but they won't be uh, able to live in Malacanang for the next six years. But then again, it's for the country that they're doing all this stuff. So let's give him let's give them the credit they absolutely deserve. So uh the only thing that I am very much ano, I'm very much uh questioning all these ano, all these candidates are their plans. Ano ba pa mga plano nila? Yun lang naman yung sa akin. Ano ba mga plano nila and how concrete they are? Because as of now I am undecided and if ever I am that decided among these three that I said I'm just ano, I'm just uh, keeping it to myself. Yun lang naman ang sa akin. Uh, wala na kayong pakailan. My channel, my rules. Okay? Uh, kung sino man ang pipiliin ko sa tatlong to, or actually dalawa kasi, as I said, hindi ko naman talaga gusto si Calyodi, but uh, in the spirit of fairness, uh, and uh, because of his, ano, because of what he's doing, eh, let's give him that, ano, let's give him that uh, chance, that, that fighting chance. So, among these three, or among, among this three, uh, these three, I'll just keep it to myself. Yun lang naman ang sa akin. Anyway, in all fairness, objectivity prevailed uh, in that interview. But it isn't uh, the same uh, when when you see the banter on social media. Sure, may mga, ano, may mga nag, 
sa salita na ano, yeah, it's it's a good thing that these things happen. These um uh, uh these stuff are these stuff exist now that we have this kind of technology. But then again, it's a challenge for other media networks to top whatever GMA did and for us to uh basically discern very well kasi it's not the no, it's not the media networks that would vote that would vote these people in whoever's uh gonna be winning tayo tayo ang mag ano niyan my only commentary as well when it comes to the news media industry is that i'm look i'm seeing that it might be a new and objective era of professional german journalism it would probably be the case so, um it's a good it was a good ano, it was a very very good program and i really hope that uh, other media networks should follow suit basically this program uh, that gma did uh, was actually a similar ano, a similar case to the war of the world's broadcast in the 1930s um yung ano yung <laughs> inakala ng mga Amerikano na yung uh, yung radio play ni Orson Welles na umaatake o sinasakop na ang Earth ng mga Martians, eh totoo. So, uh, basically, the similarities between these two is uh, because of its scope, its reach, and its effect. So, naiintindihan natin na medyo ma- maano din, uh, malaking media network ang GMA. So, the reach the scope and reach of uh, of the network is absolutely um, absolutely enormous and the effect is uh, very much um, felt uh, not only not only in myself but on other people who are somehow on the fence and um, and are saying look pare pare sang sinaim bili may balot la sa ngayon ganun pa rin ako sa totoo lang but at the very least limitado parang na, uh, nalimita yung choices ko or sabihin natin na narrow down yung mga choices ko between the the three politicians or the three presidentials that I have mentioned earlier so yeah sorry this is going to be a long video but i think it's ano i think it's uh worth ano worth the length of this um of this video kasi it's really you know it's really something that i have uh, observed and uh nakatuwa lang talaga na as an alternative media practitioner these things uh these rare gems are being discovered so <laughs> yun lang naman so anyway if you find this video helpful on uh, in your uh, discernment for uh, these coming election, these coming ele- elections this May, I would uh, appreciate it if you would leave a like uh, in this video, and you would subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell uh, by selecting all. Uh, sharing it is also appreciated, but uh, more importantly, I would like to uh, no, I would like to let you know that uh, it's all up to you. Eto mga sabi ko, these are just. These are just my own ano, my own perspective but if you see see yourself uh, finding similarities in this by all means ano, by all means uh, tell me in the comments below uh, if you beg to disagree walang problema uh, this is a free country so you you can uh, say all you want pero uh, as much as uh, uh, so, uh, ito, as long as my sense okay as long as my sense yung ano sabihin niyo yun lang naman ng sa akin Anyway, um, I think I have uh, said enough at uh, naputol yung ano ko, <laughs> yung video ko kanina. So, I guess that's all that I have to ano, to uh, say at this point. So, with all that said, this is Intrepidi and Rinyon reminding you to, at all times, discern. Discern, discern, discern. And to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then... Look alive, stay alive, and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time. Be and out. Intrepid Ian Rinyon. Sino ka?
kamatayan mo. Anong ginagawa mo dito? Paano ka nakapasok? Ako ang kamatayan mo. Lumayas ka o ako magpapalayas sa'yo? Wala ka nang magagawa. Anong sabi mo? Wala ka nang magagawa. 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 Wala ka nang